New project. Tsunami Visual Technologies Inc., who I believe is out of business. <laughs> um, Mega Arcade. Uh, they made a product called Mega Arcade. Came in a couple varieties. A sit down with full motion chair. So as you use the game, your chair would move with the action in the game. Uh, they had seven games and seven rides, like uh, roller coaster rides. They also had upright cabinets, which were conversion kits, which is what this is from. Um, they have a flight stick joystick with four buttons on it on the right hand side and they have a throttle forward back and I think there's a button on it on the left hand side. I believe, again there's not much info on these on the internet, um, I believe that the default CD that comes with it when you buy it has the operating system which is Windows based, has MechWarrior 4, Crimson Skies, and Air Raid. And then there are four more games that you could buy and also install. There's a Star Wars fighter game uh, from the Jar Jar Binks era of Star Wars films. There's one called Airstrike, the one that I really want to play, that is a vertical shoot 'em up shmup game where you're uh, piloting a helicopter. Uh, there is a uh, well, that's all that I can think of off the top of my head right now. But there's seven commercial games that were released. I think there's two prototypes uh, and seven rides. Um, this just has a default CD, so it should just have the three games. Uh, if you're interested in more about obtaining other games, I would suggest you look on the internet. There is some information out there about that as well. So, um, the company's out of business, I believe, uh, and I think somebody's figured out how to generate license keys to install other games. Uh, I'll be looking into that later. Right now I bought this cabinet as a project and it was not booting and they replaced the CMOS battery and it still didn't boot and so they just, it was at an arcade so they took it off the floor and then they offered it for sale. I decided, eh, PC based arcade game, why not give it a shot? Um, I was told the monitor was working so it's just some kind of a problem with the PC. So hopefully it's not that hard to figure out. Um, it's stripped down right now. Uh, you can see video card and sound card over there. Uh, power supply and the tray over here that has the CD-ROM and hard drive on it. And if you look in there, I was happily surprised to find that someone had converted this to a compact flash. Being solid state, they use less power, they use, create less heat and they are not nearly as susceptible to vibration damage as an actual platter hard disk so it's always good to convert arcade games to that if you can I feel anyway unless you prefer replacing hard drives um, it was not that dirty in fact that uh, CPU fan and heatsink is amazingly clean so I don't know if it was cleaned up while they were working on it trying to get it running or not but the only thing one of the fans was that fan there on the uh, right hand side was fairly dirty and then this uh, power supply fan was fairly dirty everything else wasn't that bad one thing I'd like to point out yeah this power supply has a couple of the vents cut out and a capacitor kind of jutting out the side so it looks like at some point, I'm guessing, somebody replaced one or more of the capacitors on this power supply and used either what they had on hand or used a larger size. And that one just wasn't fitting with the case the way it was, so they cut a window so they could put the case back on. Uh, kind of sketchy, but if it works... Um, there's nothing really too dangerous about that. It's not like something's going to fall in there when the top is on this unit. Uh, it's an A-Power 480 watt power supply. It just looks like a standard PC power supply. 
Um, so it shouldn't be hard to just replace that if it is a problem. Um, power supply goes here. Uh, let's talk about the components right here. I didn't see anything online about it. Uh, the motherboard is an ASUS P4S533-MX. I looked it up and downloaded a manual. Uh, it's just a common ASUS motherboard from what I gather. The video card uh, is labeled MX440. I haven't looked it up online to find out what the stats are on it. The video card is a Sound Blaster Live 5.1 digital. And there's one stick of RAM in there. And that's pretty much it. Um, the way this system worked is, or will work, I should be positive here. The way the system is going to work, is supposed to work, is there is a cord coming out of the sound card that goes to an audio amp that you put in the cab that comes with this kit. And then that goes out to the speaker or speakers in your cabinet. There is a Molex power plug here that just connects to the power supply and supplies power here that goes to that audio amp to power it. There's a VGA that comes out of the video card that goes into a universal video converter made by Ultracade, which I had one about nine years ago that I was messing around uh, when I put a Dreamcast with a VGA adapter into a cabinet that was running a medium resolution monitor. If you look back on my videos, you can find it there. So I'm familiar with the uh, universal video converter. Um, the monitor in the cabinet is standard res, standard resolution, and this does output VGA, so that's why they chose to use that device. And then there is a USB cable that comes out and goes into a converter board that's plugged into the joystick and throttle on the control panel of the game to pass the controls to the PC. And that's pretty much it. Um, as I said when I got it, it was listed as a uh, project. Uh, the PC wouldn't boot right. They thought maybe it's as simple as going to the BIOS and changing the boot order of devices. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see. But the first thing I did was took it apart and cleaned it, which was, again, fairly easy. Um, I thought it'd be a lot, lot dirtier than it was. So I've got everything clean now, and I'll put it back together. And I'm not sure whether to try and power it up outside of the cab before in the cab or not. I don't think it'll hurt anything. Um, in fact, I've seen pictures of these running outside of a cab. Um, it won't find the controls, obviously. Uh, I'm just not sure that that USB board that the controls go into and then it goes into the computer. I'm not sure if not having that hooked up would cause any kind of a boot error. So I'm not sure yet how I'm going to boot this thing up for the first time. But just wanted to show off some of the parts because I haven't haven't seen them anywhere. I just see the completed unit maybe with the top off and a picture of it. So yeah, there's really not much there. Just looks like a Asus motherboard, a sound card, and a video card. It looks like you could source all those and build one of these. Um, I know that the, from what I've read, the security on the game discs is based on the MAC address of the PC. So if you built your own PC and wanted to basically recreate this, I don't know um, if the licensing would be the only issue you'd have or if there is something somewhere in the BIOS or somewhere that's custom and would prevent you from just building one. Um, I think I've also seen a video where someone uh, had it running on a virtual machine on a PC. So, we'll see. Anyway, new project. Wanted to put something out there on the net that's a little bit more than the information that's out there 
currently. And cross my fingers and hope we can get this thing up and running.